Hey, Wanderers, welcome back. Oh, you just yeah. splashed wine on me. I'm sorry. You've had a half a glass of wine. You're already trapped. No. <laughs> Spit wine on me. You're gross. Nah. No more having wine near me. Hey, Wanderers, welcome back to the Wandering Gamer Network Let's Play of Outlast. I'm Zach. I'm Cody, and the series is called The Wandering Gamer Network Plays. Ugh, whatever. You're almost as bad at intros as I am. Yeah, you spent a good long... Gosh, I gotta use my light for forever again. I'm running out of batteries, man. Well, look, I don't know how to tell you this, but this is a horror game, so scary stuff happens. Like that guy, just shuffling around. <clears throat> oh, hey, we're back. Oh, this is the female ward, so it's similar. Um, man, those are loud. Yeah. Our, our talking is still plenty louder, but still, like, <clears throat> yikes. Click. That's gross. Anyway. Yeah, so I finally got hip after our first session of recording, our first couple, where now we record our audio separately, and I can actually look at the wave to make sure I'm not clipping, because I was clipping in the first episode. Oh gosh, this is so spooky. Yeah, it sounded, really sounded like someone was after me. Oh, you want to go up, too, just so yep. you know. You're trying to get, yeah, like, Yeah, I, I can see, I can read. Oh. Well, oh, man, I really thought it was going to be that easy. <laughs> like, it really had me going. Two steps forward, one step back, right? There's kind of too much stuff in here for you to not have to do anything. Oh, hey, hey. look at that. It's your favorite. You got three batteries. You got tons Think of them. Think of how many batteries I'd have right now. There's so many lockers, though. Oh, man, I just saw another battery. It's like a little piece of chalk. It's really worrying me how many lockers there are, though. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was saying in one of our earlier ones. Where I was like, it's scary when you walk into an area and you see lockers, and it's like, I'm going to need these. <laughs> Oh, I hear just, like, crying. Yeah, I'm... Not a fan. Amen. Ick. Um... And it's locked! Yeah, I kind of saw that coming, but I figured I might yep. as well check. You have a lot of batteries now. That Wait, look back at that... Look back at that where you just were. Turn around and look to your left again. Oh! Hey there. Hey... <laughs> He's just standing there like, what's up? Oh, hey, look at this. Man, someone really... I think you can make it. Just jump it. Hey, you know when I said you can make it? You're just too weak. Uh, I don't know if you want to go down here. Because this is like... Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Maybe you do? Oh, there's a case file. Yep, there we go. That's why there's there's down here. We gonna open it? You gonna let me read some stuff? <laughs> nope. Nope, not at all. Project Paperclip excerpt. Project Paper. Oh wait, who's this written by? I don't care. Um, Project Paperclip Joint Intelligence Objective Agency Jual. Document number eight of 186. That means we gotta read 186 of these. Reference: Nazi War Crimes Disclosure Act. A. The first act, Paperclip, provides a means of obtaining service of foreign specialists for specific assignments within the technical services of the Department of Army, Navy, and Air Forces. B. Project 63 is the primary denial program with utilization as a desirable feature. The aim for this program is to secure employment in the United States of certain Pre preeminent German and Austrian specialists, thus denying their service to potential enemies. Oh, so what this is saying is that, like, whoever's doing this was, like, some ex-Nazi, like, you know what I mean? Like, experimenter that Murkoff hired so that, you know, someone else wouldn't hire him and had him do all these terrible nightmare things. Yeah. I think you don't need it on anymore. There you go. You're just battery happy. Uh, well, here's the thing: is the glare makes it really hard. It's getting yeah, it's getting better since yeah. the sun is starting to set a little bit now. That's very true. Glare but, makes things harder. We even got curtains. Take a left. I wonder. Is that where you came from? I think I, you might be able to make this jump. I, I know we were joking about it, but I think like, look, there's that arrow on the wall. Yeah, I really feel like. Yeah, you yeah, can totally I just, make I it. I just missed it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that was okay. Um, <laughs> it would be really funny if it was locked. Like, well, gotta go back down, jump again. So, mm. swinging lights make everything better. 
<laughs> I figure I might as well try while I'm here, you right. know? Yeah, you got across from the upper floors, yo. What it? That sounded gross when I stepped in it. <laughs> Just don't look down. Just don't look at what it was. It was something crunchy. So You're if he doing wants really me so far, if he wants me to be like alive for this, why is he like not helping me get around? Like, See, death this month? is actually something I was thinking about when we were taking our break. Is that to me, he's a character that almost becomes a good guy by the end of this. Because, like, I don't think... I think he's really trying not to kill you, but he also wants you to see all this stuff. Like, he wants you to know what's happened. So, like, I think that he knows that if you were given... Oh. Interesting. Didn't know I needed that. Huh. <laughs> I think we skipped some of the game. Um, I think that he knows that you want to know... Hide. Just crouch. Just crouch and hide. You're going to be fine. You're going to be just fine. Just don't move. But yeah, I think that he, like, knows that you want to know this stuff and is kind of forcing you to stay with it and find all the scary stuff. Just don't move. Quit moving around. You're shuffling. You're shuffling. You're going to get killed. Yeah, I was going to try to sneak around back of him, but, You're going to you know. get baseball batted. Ah, see, he's he's good. There we go. Now just go back out and follow him. If you always stay behind him, he can never see you. Where'd he go? Don't worry about it. I mean, he can't be anywhere too bad, right? I wonder if he, like, actually has just, like, disappeared from the game file. You know, I like... think he's the thing that's going to be chasing you around. Yeah, there he is. Oh, hey, look at that. You crouched right next to... Dude, you just... Tons of batteries. Oh, man. Um, But, yeah, I think that he's one of those characters, the... The father guy, who's kind of like almost a good guy, because he's the one facilitating you. Like, he's not trying to kill you. He's trying to make sure you expose the truth. So, like, I think that might be the laundry chute right there. Yeah, there you go. Oh, but you need, you need like, three fuses. I think. Go look at the laundry chute again. Yeah, I said three. Oh, okay, gotcha. <clears throat> but I am flush with batteries right now. Yep. Um. But yeah, so I kind of like that about his character, that he's like a nemesis that's making you stay with all this terrible stuff just so you can get it on your camera and get it out to the world he's just nailing you to the cross like your best friend would actually shut off your camera again real quick nope dang it just shut shut it off real fast and look around i see a shiny battery nope no i don't that's water ah! <laughs> run run hey you know i screwed you over i'm sorry <laughs> I didn't mean to. Oh, I hate these windows. <laughs> right? You're doing pretty good, though. Like, I think if you just run in some place and crouch, you're going to be fine. Because it's so dark. Like, that's the perk of it being super dark. Is like, he doesn't see you. Because he's, like, right next to you. <clears throat> yes, now hang a right and just boogie. I mean, remember, too, there is some button that can make you look behind yourself while you're walking. Oh, yeah. It'll probably, though, make you reload a battery. <laughs> you want to fight? I mean, a little bit, but <laughs> that one you deserved a bit. <laughs> Since I just did it. Oh, I thought that was him. Close the door. Make. I'm sorry, don't close the door. Just slam the door as hard as you can. I think he's coming. Yeah, that's why you were supposed to close the door. There's there's a fuse right to your right. No, there's not. Who? Murder. <laughs> run, run, run. I think one of these guys has a fuse someplace. If this works, I'm going to be really shocked. Well, that's a bad word. Ick. He is a nasty man. <laughs> this guy is really determined. Like, weirdly determined. Yeah. he's. It's also a little, like, of a letdown. Like, just one guy chasing me after, like, yeah. the doctor and the cheese grater guy. I think the problem is for this one, it's like there's so much crap you have to get. And it's all in the dark, so it's kind of hard. I think I think that either... Uh, I think that either on that pillow or that guy right there in the wheelchair has the fuse. Maybe uh. not. Check around the pillow again. Because I think that... Father Martin, like, left them indicated for you where they were supposed to be. 
Oh, jeez. <sighs> oh, hey, look at this door. Oh, hey, there's a fuse. Found it. It's on that table right there. Oh, got it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> See what I mean, though? Like, it's, it just feels less scary. Go like, straight, go straight. Never mind. Too late. <laughs> <clears throat> well, and I will say this. I mean, like, this is a game that you definitely eventually kind of learn the way to avoid monsters. And once you do that, it you get through these areas a lot faster, but then it is a little bit less scary because you well, figure I mean, it out. But I mean, like, the like degree of how scary this guy is. Yeah, that's true. This is, this is like definitely a bridging area. Yeah. So I think when you get out of here, you want to turn right this time, which I think is the way that he goes. Oh, nope, there he is. Just dodge him and turn right. Because I'm pretty sure this is where you need to go next. He will jump over that. Oh. <laughs> hey, it got a little too cocky that time. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a fuse in this room. Yeah, I think I know where it is, but I'm trying to get some distance. Uh, I don't know where he is anymore. I see stuff in this room, so like... close it. Just close it. Oh shoot, he's in there. I didn't even realize. Yeah. Well, maybe jump that and then like. Hang a left right here and then crouch. But that's where you always do, and then he's going to be in there with you the whole time. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got a plan. Are you going to try to get him to follow you further down? And then run around him? Just, just like, trip him. Oh, okay. Are you going to close the door? Oh, no! Oh, hey, you got him. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Ah, uh, wall. <laughs> Dude, you got it. Because it takes him a while to knock those doors down. They don't know how to use door handles. And then close this door, too. And now... Sh oh, push the thing! Yeah! Oh, yeah, you got days now. Boom. Perfect. Now, I think it's right there. Yep. Okay. And then I think if you look around, there's probably a battery in here, too, or yeah, something. Yeah, I think there's one over here. Yeah, it was in the fire. Yep, there it is. Oh, yeah, we are the best. <clears throat> now you're probably just gonna have to push that thing back over though <laughs> okay the breathing of this guy like he needs to calm down a little bit you know you know I think at some point you can't judge also run back over by that bed real quick I feel like I saw a case file nope I didn't I'm wrong never mind ignore me um I think yep there he is <laughs> <laughs> oh come on <laughs> <laughs> it's a dark room man okay now just run behind run behind him run behind no him. i want to check for something though is the thing oh what do you want to check for you have I all think, the fuses i think i saw a battery oh in here no it on the way back but i don't oh wanna... gotcha but if i run like i'll be running the whole yeah, way yeah you won't be able to stop i get what you mean oh okay so well, we got some time here. Um, I want to talk about a potential, not the next thing we're going to do, but something I want to do eventually. Why don't I mention the next thing we're going to do? Oh, yeah. So the next thing we're going to do, first of all, is FTL, um, which as, we're going to play that as kind of a bridge kind of thing, right? Yeah. Which, like, it's, it's not going to be us doing all of it. We're going to do a couple of ships with me kind of running you through that. It's, yeah, because I suck at that game and I hate it. Um, and I think it's a garbage game, but I want to like it because so many people that like whose opinions I trust on video games say it's great. And then I play it for five minutes and I'm like, this is stupid and I don't understand. So then I just give up. So I do think I just need someone to like sit down and be like, OK, this is what you're doing wrong. You're you're just dumb. Um, so we're going to do that. And with that, if you um, tweet at us, then we'll make you a character in the. Oh man! You know where I have to go back downstairs now. That's inconvenient. Oh, that guy hears everything. Just so you know. Uh, where are the stairs? Oh yeah. Oh man, you're so much smarter than I am. I like forgot all this it was here. I don't know where the key is though. Yeah, I think it might be all the way in the basement. Like, just keep going all the way down. Oh yeah, you can just jump down there. I don't think it's in the basement though. Um. I thought that's... Just look around down oh, here. Oh, maybe it is. Because I think that's why they made this area. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, why make the area if not for the key to fall into here? 
Uh, there's that random guy in the corner. This is where we picked up the case file. Yeah, so maybe it was just a case file thing. It seems like a lot to add for just a case file. Oh, wait, turn to your left. I thought I saw it. I didn't. Well, like, it would be a shoot is the thing. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it isn't. Okay. Um, anyway, you are saying... So, yeah, so with FTL, I want to have someone teach me. Oh, and then, yeah, I don't know. We might have already done FTL by the time this episode comes out, depending on how we do stuff. But if we do FTL again and you tweet at us, we'll make you a character. Well, we might make you a person on our ship. So, you know, if you want to be the captain of an FTL ship, uh, tweet about the Wandering Gamer Network and you totally can be. Yeah, we're, we're using currently using the wa- the hashtag Wandering Gamer. Are we? Yep. That's why that's it's on it's on our Twitter. You'll see it. OK, I, I put a post a tweet at us, either at us or with the Wandering Gamer hashtag. We. Mm. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, <laughs> no. Uh, why? <laughs> I like how we just like opened the door and closed it behind. And we was like, I'm going to get you. <laughs> Is where the do way we I go? I just we... got the key. I don't know where the key leads to, though. Not there. Uh, there was some door where we needed a key to open it. And I do that not... That was go... outside. Yeah. I think you want to go jump back up there, I think. I think it's still upstairs. You just want to oh, okay. go further up. Okay. I thought... Maybe Ooh. not. Missed the jump. That's Okay. Ow. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm stuck. No, you're, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's not good. I'm... Man. Uh, this, is a, oh, this is a hard jump to make without someone trying to kill me. Right? Get, get some distance on him. Let him kind of chase you all the way back here. Okay, now run for it. Okay, I got it this time. I feel it. <laughs> uh, I didn't feel it that time. I think that they just gave up on you with the music. Like, eh, whatever. I think the guy lost me the idea. Oh, did he? How did he lose you? I'm running in circles for like five minutes. He's going to be right on the stairs or something stupid. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, now you got plenty of time. Mm, nailed it. The problem is you got to hit it dead on. Um, so something else that I just remembered that I really want to do, and I think I messaged you about this a little bit, but I just kind of wanted to explain what it is, is I want to play the game Armor Core. And I don't know if any of you have ever played Armor Core, but it was a game for the PlayStation 1, and it was, like, one of my favorite games growing up. And basically what you do is, like, it's an armor, it's like an armor suit game, you know, so you make, like, a big robot, and then you do missions and earn money. And then you can buy more parts for your robot and, like, customize it. So there's, like, a bunch of different kinds of robots you can make and, like, different... And that, like, makes different styles of gameplay. Um, so my thought is we'll do, like, a little run where you do a few missions and buy some parts that you want <clears throat> and make your own robot. And then I'll do the same thing. And then we can fight each other's robots in, like, okay. an arena battle. That so it'll be fun. super fun. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's that's the next thing that I'm, like, really excited about. And then we're also, like, for our next bigger series that isn't just filler, is Bastion or Transistor? Which one are we I doing? think Bastion first. Bastion is, um, I liked Bastion more than Transistor, but I love both those games. But, yeah, Bastion's fantastic, and I really, I'm excited to have you play that. Yeah, I, I want to play them both, so we can get around to both of them at some point, but. There's, like, all these markers for stairs. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I do. I really don't know where I'm going right now. Okay, hang on. You should look that up. Yeah, yeah, because we're doing good. Yeah. Also, yeah. We'll find the stairs, and that's where we'll end the Well, because I know, like, I'm... Maybe this way? Mm, this looks promising. No, this is where I was originally. Oh, wait, wait. I might have found it. Yep. <laughs> I had just found it here, too. Got it. I'm so good at this. All right, game. you want to you wanna pause real quick? Uh, well, okay, I got... Uh, okay, because okay, this is another jump. So make the jump, and then we'll pause. Da -da 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 -da. Or don't make the jump. All right, so take two, make the jump, and then we'll pause. Are you? Mm, I wonder if we can make this jump. This it seems like we have to, though. Since that's what the key unlocks. Yeah, yeah, we can make this. <laughs> you, you can make it. We're just bad. I'm, I'm, I do not like the platforming parts of this game. Yeah, like, like it's not a good enough jump. Like, anyway, 
So this was the Wandering Gamer Network. This was the Wandering Gamer Network. We will see you next time. Yep, or we will have totally going to make this jump. Oh, <sighs> gosh. Okay, one more time. You got one more in you. We can do it. <sighs> We're gonna end on a we're gonna end on a victorious note of us making this. Nope, we're in there. All right, bye everybody. <laughs> Next time later. is gonna be making this jump. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of the Wandering Gamer Network plays Outlast. If you'd like to hear more content from the Wandering Gamer Network, there's a link in the video to our actual play podcast where we play games like D and D Fifth Edition, Star Wars: Edge of the Empire, City of Mist, and several other games. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time, Wanderers.